Ah, Gitch. Welcome. What I want to do is show you how to determine, or not really determine, but explain what a polynomial function is. So let's go through the boring part first, and then I'll kind of explain what is not a polynomial and what is. So the boring part, or maybe the abstract part that's going to maybe confuse you, is the definition of a polynomial is a to the n, x to the n, plus a to the n minus 1, x to the n minus 1, plus dot, 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 dot. There can be many, many terms in there going to a to the 1, x to the 1, plus a to the 0. All right, and that still works on that. So what does all this mean? Well, before I even get to all what that means, let's take a look at our couple of constraints. a sub n cannot equal 0. You notice a sub n is going to be our constraint. That means we cannot just have a 0, a function of 0. That's not going to be a, a uh, polynomial function. So a sub n cannot be 0. Now that means any one of those terms cannot just simply equal 0. Let's look at the next one. n has to be a non-negative integer. So therefore, negative numbers or negative exponents and rational exponents are not going to be a part of polynomial functions. So let's take a look at some examples. And because I know this is very abstract, and you're like, I'm not really getting that. So let's take a look at some examples. How about f of x equals uh, 3x to the fourth minus 5x cubed plus 2x squared plus x minus 5. All right, you can see right now my a sub n, a sub n minus 1, all my my a sub my subscripts, you can see are my, going to be my coefficients of my variables. And my n represents my exponents. All right, And you can see as we just kind of go in descending order, my negative 5 would represent my a sub 0. Now let's take a look at. Sorry, that's what you get when you do videos at a, at a school. Hope you don't mind. So then the next one is f of x. Let's look at another one that may be not so obvious. f of x, e three, f of x equals 3x minus 3. And let's look at another one. f of x equals 7. OK, so these are all going to be polynomial functions. And the reason why I'm even telling you to know about polynomial functions, because it's important for you to understand, even though these don't directly look like this, we can all rewrite them in this type of form, where we can relate. Oh, our a sub n, OK, is going to be 3 here. My n can be rewritten as an exponent of 1. And my a sub 0 is going to be 3, or a negative 3. In this case, we usually just don't write that, though. In this case, we can write this and say, all right, well, I have an a sub n, which is going to be my a sub 0, which is going to equal 7. So now let's look at some counterexamples, some examples that are not polynomial functions. So we could say f of x equals absolute value of 3x. That is not a function because it's an absolute value uh, function and it doesn't follow through our definition. f of x equals x to the negative squared. And f of x equals x to the 1 half. And f of x equals 0. So here are four examples or non-examples of polynomial functions. All right, And we're actually going to, it's easier probably to explain uh, why an absolute value is not a polynomial function once we get to the graphing part, which I will do. This has a negative power, so it's not going to be a uh, polynomial function. This has a rational power, so it's not going to be a polynomial function. And then obviously this one says a sub n cannot equal 0. Well, if you just have 0 there, it's not going to be a polynomial function. So hopefully that little overview helped you out. And uh, we will be using polynomial functions for the rest of this course. So it's important that you have this basic foundation of what a polynomial function is. Thank you.